Hey friends, Sonia here with Ellie and Mac today, and I am showing you how to add a cargo pocket to the side of your Good Vibes joggers. You can also use this on the kids' joggers, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing that we're going to do is trace out how big we want our pocket. So I am using a clear gridded ruler to do this and what I'm going to trace first is the actual size that I want my finished pocket to be. Now I trace this square at about 5 inches wide by 6 inches tall and then the flap is going to overlap that top part of the pocket just a bit. You'll see that later. Now what I'm going to do is because I want this to be my finished size, I'm going to go ahead and go in and add my seam allowances. So I'm just doing that in a different color. Hopefully that's a little bit easier to see. And I am adding half of an inch even though our pattern seam allowance is only a quarter of an inch because I want some extra space to go ahead and trim those corners to make sure everything is nice and crisp. Now I'm just going to extend those lines down the extra bit of my paper because I'll use that to make the flap that goes across the top of the pocket. I do want those to be the same width. I'm just going to copy over those seam allowances from the pocket so that everything is nice and even. Here I'm just tracing the top of my pocket to make sure that I allow for the seam allowance there. And then I'm marking in the exact center of my pocket flap piece so that I can make sure that my flap is perfectly symmetrical. I marked up about half an inch on either side so I have a pretty subtle V in the front of that and then I ran out of paper so I'm just adding a little bit more paper so I can go back and add that seam allowance in. Now this seems like a lot but it really is pretty quick process. You just want to make sure that everything is nice and symmetrical. Now that we have our two pattern pieces, we can go ahead and cut our fabric. We're going to cut for each pocket two of the pocket piece and two of the flaps. So you're going to cut four of each total because we're going to sew the pieces right sides together and then we're going to turn it out so everything is nice and lined and perfect. And once those are all cut out, I'm going to lay them on my mat, like I said, right sides together, and you're going to sew all the way around each of these pieces, leaving a gap in the top to turn them out. So now I have stitched around all four of the edges and I left a about a one and a half inch gap. I did stitch with just a straight stitch on these and then I am trimming my corners close to but not through the seam allowance so that it looks nice and neat when we turn it out. And then we will go ahead and flip these out and press them. Use something that is pointed but not sharp to poke out those corners really well. You want to make sure and take your time pressing these because that is what makes the pocket look nice and even and square when you go to adhere it to your joggers. I'm going to do this for all of the pieces and then we'll move on to the next step. Since I'm working on black fabric, I want to show you what this is going to look like really quickly with diagrams so it's a little easier to understand. First, you can top stitch the top edge of the pocket if you would like. Then you'll pin it to the pant and top stitch at 1 8 of an inch along the two sides and the bottom. Next, we top stitch the two sides and bottom of the flap before attaching it and then we'll lay it on the pant and attach it. Make sure to leave a small gap between the flap and the pocket so that you can access your pocket. Now I'll show you what this looks like in real life. Our next step is laying our pocket piece down on our joggers. Now you will have already sewn the side seam at this point so that we can attach it right over the top of that side seam. Now what I did is I actually kind of held the piece up to my body to align where I wanted that pocket. Make sure, sure, when you are pinning this on that the gap you left open is at the bottom and that way we sew through it to close that gap when we top stitch this on. Now take your time doing this. I would make sure and 
pull that taut so that it is nice and even across all the edges. I wanted mine to lay flat against the leg. You could, of course, do this a little bit looser if you want kind of a more relaxed, um, slouchy pocket, but I wanted mine to sit really tight and you can tell that it doesn't necessarily want to keep those straight edges. So I'm using a bunch of pins here to make sure that I maintain that perfect rectangular shape. You can see that we're just doing the rectangular part of the pocket right now and I do go ahead and pin the top even though we don't sew that side. Just top stitch your two sides and the bottom and then we'll add the flap. So now we have the two sides and the bottom of our pocket stitched on and we need to go ahead and top stitch the rest of the flap before we stitch it down. So we're gonna do the two sides and the bottom leaving the top unstitched because we will stitch that when we secure it to our pants. So now that those three sides are top stitched, we'll go ahead and use the top stitching of the top of the pocket to secure that flap. I am leaving a little bit of a gap between the flap where I'm stitching and the top of the pocket so that I have room to reach in, probably about a third of an inch. And then I'm gonna pin that really, really well so that I make sure those edges of my flap line up nicely with the edges of my pocket. that is your last step and you can assemble your pants as normal. I hope you guys try this out. Make sure to share in our Facebook group and watch our other fun hack videos. We'll see you in the next one.